music, you know. I, I followed my cousin everywhere he went. You know, he's three years older than me, old dirty bastard. So, uh, me and him like beans and rice. So, uh, when he passed away, it's like a part of me passed away. And for us, for the group too. Um, so I took it upon myself to go out there and, uh, you know, let people know that, you know, his legacy is still going to be alive. A everything that Dirty do, man, is so amazing. It makes you laugh. And you don't even got no sad moments. This shit is so funny how my brother was. He's like the, the, the craziest person in the world, man. But it's Dirty is a poet. And he needs to be respected, just like Jim Morrison and the rest of them. You know what I'm saying? Dirty taught us a lot. I went on to... I picked up a, a, a little camcorder, like a little home video camera. And I and I went and I went to every Wu Tang concert that we, we can get on and we performed and and I wrote up ten uh, uh, chapters where I was gonna ask everybody in the clan, families and friends, and once I start this going, the process going and I said I felt good about it and I just kept doing it. Word up, this is for the festival. It's Silk Ski. Word up, ODB's click out of Wu-Tang. Brooklyn Zoo, you know what it is? I just came here showing some love, you know what I'm saying, for the, you know, the documentary, race on, my brother put on, you know what I'm saying? Old Dirty's legacy lives on. Silk Ski, baby.